Hello everyone! In WaveLab 10, we now have a completely new undo redo history system available in the audio montage and for the first time in the audio editor workspaces. Now, both of them have their own independent undo redo log. Let me show you how it works. The new undo redo edit history system is available on the audio montage. As you can see right here, we have the history window, but for the first time, it's also available in the audio editor workspace. So let me show you why this new feature is really powerful and really important if you do a lot of audio editing. So let's say I want to perform some edits on this audio file. Let's say I want to select the beginning and create a fade in. Let's go to the ending and perform a fade out and maybe I can go in the middle and maybe I want to silence this piece of audio. Maybe right here I want to create an envelope and maybe I want to go here and create a pitch bend. And maybe in this section I want to change the level and make it 10 dBs lower. So as you can see, WaveLab immediately creates these marker points and it indicates where I've done every edit. So it's very easy to keep track of what I've done. But now let's say I've performed all these edits and you can see them all in the history window right here. Let's say I want to undo this fade in I did at the very beginning. Now normally what I would have to do would be to undo all the steps and go back to the initial version so I can get rid of this fade in, basically losing all all the work that I've done, which could be anything from removing clicks, very detailed editing, this would be a lot of wasted time. Now what I can do is I can basically select any of the edits. Let's go to this very first edit, which was the fade in, double click on this section. And as you can see, WaveLab immediately selects this edit. And now what I can do is I can go and say, I want to bring it back to the initial state. So now what I can do is I can go to the initial version where I know that this fade in wasn't there and I can say replace selected audio with samples from this version and check what happens immediately I get this fade in removed. Now let's say I wanted to go to this edit and I'm not sure exactly what I've done right here. It's very easy to find out what I've done. I can go to my edit tab and then go to the history section and then click recover locate edit in history and as you can see WaveLab immediately indicates the edit that I performed in this section. If I go right here for example and do the exact same thing audio muted. So let's say I want to undo this audio mute right here. I can go to the initial version and again replace selected audio with samples from this version. There we go. So of course I can go back and forth in history in the traditional way. I can just go step by step like that. But anytime, at any moment, I can remove an edit that I've done. It doesn't have to be in sequence with the previous or the next edit. Now, the other great thing that I can do is I can select any version, for example, this version up to this point and right click on it and say, open selected version in new tab. And then WaveLab creates a brand new version of the file with these edits, which is extremely useful if you want to do multiple versions of the same file. So as you can see, the new undo, redo, edit history system gives you total control of your edits in any WAV file, be it on the audio editor or on the montage window. This will give you the ultimate flexibility when editing audio, streamlining your workflow.